I'm Scott Sturgeon. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer and Founder of Tangled Roots Brewing Company. My name is Mike Billy. I'm the head brewer here at Tangled Roots Brewing Company in Ottawa, Illinois. We are a very unique brewery in the fact that we do things a little bit differently. Our company was founded with four unique individuals, one from Germany, one from Zimbabwe, one from Chicago, born and raised, and one from Ottawa. So Tangled Roots really is the essence of people coming together to enjoy great beer, great food, and tell stories. Uh, we do try to be a nature-focused and local-focused brewery, so we have our own hop farm. We have our own barley farm, um, so we grow some of the ingredients that go into our beer. Natural ingredients that go into beer is what we're all about. That's why being a partner with Amoretti is so important to us. A couple years ago, we met Amoretti at a beer festival on Navy Pier, and we decided to do a beer together. We did a Devil's Paint Box Indian Pale Ale with Blood Orange, and it turned out to be one of our biggest sellers. So we've been using Amoretti products for a few years now, and the feedback that we've been getting from our customer base is extraordinary. Uh, so we've used the craft puree in everything from German style wheat beers all the way to New England style IPAs. So we've used them really across the board. So when we do launches, we have lines out the door waiting for product that has Amoretti in it. As head brewer, I do a lot of our production planning and recipe design. As far as fermentation space, we have four 12 barrel fermenters. Uh, we've got three 25 barrel fermenters and we actually have four outdoor tanks that are 50 barrel tanks. We have a pilot system that we'll brew uh, kind of small batch beers on. Those typically only last like a weekend because you know you just you end up with two kegs of beer and it just kind of flies off the shelves. But it's a nice uh, place for us to experiment, try new things before we scale it up onto the big system. So we we're trying to do this uh, blueberry lemonade kind of New England IPA. The nice thing about the Amoretti craft puree is that it's pretty easy to scale up a product. So you've got a consistent flavor, you know what it's gonna taste like every time that you use it. Versus like if you're using whole fruit or something based on the crop or just how intense the flavor is, how ripe it is, you can get a different type of flavor. So today we're gonna to add the blueberry and lemon craft puree uh, to a beer that's essentially already finished fermenting. It's already been cold crashed, so there's no yeast in suspension or anything. We won't get any additional fermentation, but we will get those nice uh, fruit flavors from the puree. So yeah, let's go add this uh, craft puree to this beer. Uh, so this is our fermentation cellar. This is where we ferment all the beers uh, once we're done with the hot side of the process. So the first step of this process is gonna be that we need to clean and sanitize this tank. This is what we call a unitank. It can be used as a fermenter or a bright tank essentially, so it holds pressure so we can carbonate the beer in this tank. So once we have it completely clean and sanitized, uh, we're gonna add that blueberry puree. So we're just gonna open this manway. Uh, we're gonna dump the blueberry puree in there and the lemon craft puree as well. Okay, so uh, to transfer this beer, the first thing we're gonna do is actually off the bottom valve, we'll dump out any hops or anything else that's left uh, in that tank from after fermentation. And then we're gonna put some pressure on it. So the pressure on top is gonna push the liquid out through here and into that tank, the clean and sanitized one that's ready to go. Once we have it transferred in the unit tank, we're gonna keep it cold for about 48 hours. That'll let any of the solids, uh, either from hops or from the blueberry or lemon puree, just kind of settle out to the bottom. Uh, we'll dump all that stuff off and then we will carbonate it. Once it's carbonated, we'll be ready to bottle it and package it. In a few days, we should have some beautiful New England IPA with some beautiful blueberry and lemon flavors from the craft puree. You know, there's uh, plenty of reasons why we're using Amoretti here at Tangled Roots. Uh, probably the biggest one is that it actually tastes like fresh fruit. You know, it doesn't have those artificial flavors. Amoretti is natural. That's the best part about it. So when you do your research and you find out what the product's made of, it's actually a natural product and it gives you the best results. You know, it's also cost effective. There's less loss. Um, it's easy for us to scale it up if we brew something on our pilot system. This actually helps make a better product faster and easier. So Tangle Roots is all through the market in Illinois right now. We're really a regional brewery. Come down and visit us, get a unique brewing experience visit the hop farm, see how things are done. 
I suggest find us on social media or our website, tanglerootsbrewingco.com. And come see us anytime. Thanks for coming. <laughs>